Okay, hello, welcome. So, this is our lesson for today about long division. And this lesson is for grade 10 math for the first quarter, which is module 2, polynomials and polynomial equations. So, this is under lesson 1, which is the division of polynomials. So, after the video presentations or after the discussion, we're going to have the activity. Okay, so, but before that, uh, let's have the definition of polynomial expression. A polynomial expression or P of X is an expression of the form. Okay, so we have this expression where the non-negative integer N is called the degree of the polynomial and coefficients A sub 0, A sub 1, and so A sub N are real numbers. Okay, so let us divide 2X square plus 5X minus 23 by x plus 5. Okay, so first we're going to have the parts divisor and the dividend. Divisor is x plus 5 and the dividend is 2x squared plus 5x minus 23. Okay, so note that if we are going to divide polynomials, it is similar to the procedure used when dividing whole numbers. Okay, so let's have this one, 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 divided by x plus 5. Okay, so let's focus on the first term, which is 2x squared. So 2x squared divided by x is 2x. Okay, so we're going to subtract the exponent. The exponent of x is 1. So therefore, 2 minus 1 is only one exponent. Okay, and then the next step is 2 multiply 2x times x. So, 2x times x is 2x squared. So, if we multiply the terms or the polynomials, we're going to add their exponent. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. The next 2x times 5 is 10x. Okay? And then, the next step is to subtract. 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. Then 5x minus positive 10x. Okay, so in this step, we're going to change the sign of the subtrahend. The subtrahend here is positive 10x. So we're going to change the sign. Positive make it negative. So therefore, 5x, if positive 10 it will become negative 10, it will become negative 5x. Okay, then the next step is to bring down negative 23. Okay, and then the next step is to divide negative 5x divided by x. Okay, so negative 5x divided by x is negative 5. So we subtract the exponent, 1 minus 1 is 0. So therefore, we have no variables. Then next, we multiply negative 5 times x is negative 5x. The negative 5 times positive 5 is negative 25. Okay, so the next step is to subtract. So negative 5x minus negative 5x is 0. The negative 23 minus negative 25. So again, negative 25. Uh, we're going to change the sign of the subtrahend or change negative into positive. So if we have negative 23 plus or plus 25, the answer is positive. Okay, so we have the divisor, the dividend, the remainder, and the quotient. We're in, um, these are the parts of um, dividing polynomials. So the divisor is x plus 5, the remainder is 2, the dividend is 2x squared plus 5x minus 23, and the quotient is 2x minus 5. Okay, you can write the result as follows. Okay, we have this one, the dividend, the divisor, the quotient, 2x minus 5, plus the remainder, 2. Okay, the dividend, the quotient, the divisor, and the remainder. Okay. 
Okay, so in general, if p of x and p of x are polynomials with p of x, where n it is not equal to 0, we can write p of x over d of x equals q of x plus r of x over d of x or p of x equals q of x times d of x plus r of x where r of x is either 0 or its degree is less than the degree of d of x. If r of x is 0, then we say that d of x is a factor of p of x. Okay, so let's have this one. p of x is the dividend. b of x is um, the divisor. q of x is the quotient and r of x is the remainder. Okay, so those are um, the following uh, terms for the division of polynomials. Dividend, divisor, quotient, and remainder. Okay, next, we have another example. 10x squared plus 2x raised to 4 plus 8 plus 7x cubed divided by 2x squared plus x minus 1. So, this is the solution. First, we're going to write the dividend in the standard form and insert zeros as coefficients of any missing term to obtain 2x raised to 4, 7x cubed plus 10x squared plus 0x plus 8. So, again, um, we're going to arrange the given in a standard form. Pag sinabi nating standard form, mula sa pinakamataas na exponent, pababa. Pag may missing term, magdadagdag tayo ng zero. Okay, again, um, our dividend, 10x squared plus 2x raised to 4 plus 8 plus 7x cubed, it will become uh, 2x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed plus 10x squared plus 0x plus 8. Okay, then uh, both dividend and device, divisor should be in a standard form. Or both dividend and divisor should be in a standard form. Okay, so this is what we call the long division method. Okay, so... We have to divide 2x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed plus 10x squared plus 0x plus 8. Okay, again, we insert 0 for the missing term. Okay, divided by 2x squared plus x minus 1. Okay, so this is the first step. We're going to focus to the first term, which is 2x raised to 4. 2x raised to 4 divided by 2x squared is x square. So, 2 divided by it is 1. Then, we subtract the exponent. 4 minus 2 is 2. So, therefore, we have x square. Then, uh, we multiply x square times 2x square equals 2x raised to 4. And then, x square times x is x cubed. Next, x square times negative 1 is negative x square. Okay, then subtract 2x raised to 4 minus 2x raised to 4 is 0. And then 7x cubed minus um, positive x cubed. Okay, we're going to change positive into negative and then proceed as in addition. So 7 plus negative x, uh, 7x cubed plus negative x cubed is positive 6x cubed. Okay, so... Uh, next, uh, uh, next is 10x squared minus x squared. Again, we're going to change the sign. Negative, make it positive. And then proceed as in addition. So, 10x squared plus x squared is positive 11x squared. And then, the next one is to bring down 0x. Zero 0x. Uh, zero okay, next. Again, we focus on the first term. 6x cubed divided by 2x squared is positive 3x. Again, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then, x cubed divided by x squared is x. 3 minus 2 is 1. 
okay if we subtract the exponent um the exponent will be one okay next the next step is to multiply the quotient to the divisor so 3x times 2x square is 6x cubed then 3x times x is 3x square then 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x okay then the next one is to subtract 6x cubed minus 6x cubed is 0 and then 11x squared minus 3x squared okay positive change to negative and then proceed as in addition 11x squared plus 3 uh, plus negative 3x squared the answer is 8x squared then the next one 0x plus uh, minus negative 3x again change the sign it becomes positive so then proceed as in addition so 0x plus 3x is positive 3x okay so the next and uh, uh, next is to bring down 8 so we have positive 8 and the next one we have to divide 8x squared divided by 2x squared okay 8 divided by 2 is 4 x squared divided by x squared is 0 okay because if we're going to subtract their exponent 2 minus 2 is a 0 therefore the quotient is 4 okay so next we multiply 4 times 2x squared we have 8x squared 4 times x is 4x 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 okay then we subtract 8x squared minus 8x squared is 0 then 3x minus positive 4x again we are going to change the sign make it negative so 3x plus negative 4x that is negative x and then now we have positive 8 minus negative 4 again change the sign make it positive then 8 plus 4 now is equal to 12 okay so our quotient here now is 8x squared plus 3x plus 4 and the remainder is negative x plus 12 okay so if you're going to write um, the answer or yes the answer okay we can write this in this uh, format we have 2x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed plus 10x squared plus 8 which is the dividend divided by the divisor to x squared plus x minus 1 equals the quotient x squared plus 3x plus 4 plus the remainder negative x plus 12 over the divisor to x squared plus x minus 1. Okay, we have this activity 1. Perform the indicated division and write your answers in the form as shown in the following example. We have P of X, which is the dividend, D of X, the divisor, Q of X is the quotient, plus R of X, the remainder, over D of X, which is the divisor. Okay, so in this example, or in this format, uh, we're going to follow this format. Okay, so we have the following activity, number 1, 2, 3. Okay, good luck. So, try to answer the following. Okay, thank you for watching. For more math videos or math video lesson, so visit my FB group, Math Video Lesson or Viewer, um, and my YouTube channel, Mathish. Thank you.